What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a complete guitar tutorial on the song Distance by Ruel uh, from his new album, uh, something like Bright Light Red Eyes. Uh, I've got the full album, so in case you just want to learn any other song, make sure to go to my channel playlist and check out. Alright, for this song, we got the capo on fret 6. Now I'm going to show you exactly what's going in the song in the most easiest way, so therefore we're just going to put the capo a little bit high up to the 6th fret. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So make sure you put the capo on 6th fret to match up with the original key of the song. Alright, let's quickly have a look at the chord shapes. Now we just got two parts to learn, the verse and the chorus. D done. That repeats throughout the whole song. So let's have a look at the chords. First chord is the A minor, which is mute, open, second, second, first open. Then we have a F, which is 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. Now it's not compulsory that you have to play the full F major chord, you can just play 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, leaving the high E string open. Then we have a G major, which is 3, 2, open, 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 3. Um, then we have a D minor 7, it's not a D minor, it's a D minor 7, which is mute, mute, open, second, first, first. A beautiful chord, I love this. C major which is mute 3 to 0, 1, 0 and when you lift off that middle finger uh, when you lift off that index finger it's a B string open and it's a C major 7 so you got mute 3 to open, open, open so alright we are actually done with the chord shapes now let's get started for the intro and the verse it goes like this now for the song one thing which you need to master will be this part this slap plus uh, with your middle finger hitting the other notes this thing you need to master. So what I'm doing, just have a look at this part. I'm actually going. I'm actually making this shape like this. So you see, my shape is like this. And I, what I do is, I with the middle finger I hit the D and the G string. Uh, maybe sometimes the B string if you go a little bit hard. But I mainly focus on the D and G string. And as soon as I hit that, my range of motion actually allows my thumbs to hit the top string, which produces the bass uh, string to slap. That slap sound, so. So, go. so I'm basically hitting the D and G string. And when I go louder, I actually hit the other string, like the B and high E string too. So this thing you need to master. So what we do on for the verse on the intro, we hold the A minor chord, we play. We play the A string open, D string second fret, and then we do that slap with the um, G sh with that, what do you call that? Um, we can call it anything. We do this thing basically, or you can even pick the G string individually instead of slapping and doing picking the note together with these two fingers. You find that a lot hard. So, you got another game, and we do a hammer on from 3 to 5 on the D string. Then you play third fret, and you move on to the G major chord. You play the E string third fret. D string open and then you do a slap one more time with hitting that G string so um, so strum plus slap so strum plus slap is the best name uh, now over here again you can just play the G string open instead of slapping that what you can do and then, so I'm actually playing I'm doing a hammer on from 2 to 3 and back to 2 on the D string now a little bit improvisation, um, this hammer rounds, what you can do is you can on the first hammer on we did this one after the A minor, you can actually hold the E string second fret and you can pick the E string as well as the D string simultaneously and hammer on. So I play the E D, then I play the D string. And same goes for that that two to three hammer on after that G major chord, you can just have third fret on the A string. And then you can just do a hammer on from 2 to 3 on the D string. And you play the A and D string together first. Hammer on and play the D string. So basically the chord progression goes A minor, D minor, G, major C. We're just going to try to focus on that. So you got... That actually goes for the intro for the verse and after that we have a chorus then we got a second verse and that's done so after that second uh, we got the second verse so we are done with this part now next part is also easy it goes for the chorus so verse one after that chorus 
then verse 2 then another chorus and after the chorus we just have the bridge and the chorus so the chorus bridge chorus are all same now for this part the chord progression just note it down right now we play the F then the G major then the A minor we play it and then again an A minor we repeat this chord progression thrice so we got F G A minor A minor F G A minor A minor F G A minor A minor and after that we actually play D minor 7 then F then G then C major 7 now have a look at the first part where we play the F G A minor so over here what we do is um, so we just gonna look at the first part the F G A minor A minor I play the F I hold the F major chord I play the E string and the D string and then I do the slap with the strum or you can just play the B and G string together instead of slapping and that goes same for the G major chord too so you got G major E string D string you just hold the chord and pick the string what I'm actually telling you then A minor you do the exact same thing for the first time and the next time you play the A string and then you play the D string second fret but this time instead of slapping and strumming together you're now gonna do a very fast hammer on two or pull off on open to first to open on the B string so you got that was uh, what's basically going on and I'm just gonna play the full chorus one more time but before let me show you the next part which is uh, D minus 7 you just play the D minus 7 you can just do one damn stroke with a pick if you have in your hand right now or you can just use your finger so we play D minus 7 2 3 4 F 2 3 4 G 2 3 4 to a C major 7 we end that over there and then you move on to the next part uh, which is the next verse then you have a next chorus bridge exactly same thing so let me play that whole chorus or you can call that the bridge or the last chorus because it's the same thing going And that's it for the song guys, I've got a full album so make sure to check out uh, Draw a gun down below if you just want on any other song by any other artist uh, That's it, I'll see you guys back in the next video, make sure to subscribe, bye